Hey guys, Mitch Jalapeno here. So the homeowners hired a door guy to adjust the door because whenever they closed the door, the door would kind of still wiggle back and forth even when it was closed. So the door guy just adjusted that stop a little bit to the left. That way, you know, it's going to be nice and snug. But unfortunately, the door guy said he's not a painter or a cosmetic repair dude. So the homeowner said, hey, let's call Mr. Jalapeno. First thing I did there is I sanded down the area and I'm going to use a little bit of that ready patch. No bondo today. Just because, you know, I have a lot of time. I'm going to do more cosmetic repairs here around the house. So it has time to dry. Do one coat for the big holes but for these little holes still they uh, the guy left I don't know what gun he was using but he left pretty big holes but for these little little tiny holes I like to use the painters putty uh, rather than like ready patch and stuff because that dry you know that dries pretty quick and I could paint it almost instantaneously you could also use a putty knife to kind of you know scrape it off but I like to use a, a sanding block whenever I'm using that painters putty and then on the sides of the stop uh, you know in order for you not to be able to see the crack there on the sides I like to use caulking especially this Alex fast dry 20 minute um, it'll dry in 20 minutes or paintable in 20 minutes and now I'm adding the second coat of the ready patch on the big gouges there on the frame uh, sand them down and then just make sure that it's super dry you don't want to sand it down when it's a little you know when it's still a little wet get my strainer that way I could clean the paint out and also what this method I'm gonna do it's uh, it's so that whenever I because I'm gonna use my brush to, to apply the paint so that way I don't you know the brush marks aren't as visible but this only works for uh, water-based paint. I wouldn't use this for oil-based paint. Uh, and then just make sure you read the directions. I think I added too much flow trial at the beginning. I just had to add a little bit more paint. Uh, just make sure, like I said, read the directions. That way you get the right uh, ratio for how much paint and how much flow trial. Mix it up a little bit with your brush, you know, make sure it's all nicely mixed and then apply it. So look, you could still kind of see the brush marks at the beginning, um, but it applies really good. I did two coats, uh, but once it dries, the, the, the brush marks are not going to be noticeable. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not as bad. Um, and it works really good. It looks like a very professional um, end product. And there we go. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Jalapeno Solutions. Boom.